We're now charging our battery with a diesel generator and a synchronous machine. Hi, and welcome back to the Drives School. Today we are going to look further into the DC converter, the basic parameters, how to set it up for current reference mode and also for the voltage reference mode. The simulator we are going to run today will be an active front end connected to the city, a common DC bus system and a DC DC converter with a battery of about 605 volts. This is a lithium ion battery. The shooks have been adjusted since last time. Hannes Arinen and Vesa Weisannen have corrected the sizing of this to get the precision of, of the system a little bit improved. If we look at our simulator, the hardware is exactly the same as the microgrid. We have removed the batteries. The batteries are now over here to this side of the DC-DC converter. The active front end have been pre-charged and it's connected to the city. So it means that the diode rectifier mode now will produce 534 volts. So this is the 420 volt AC diode rectified to 534. When we start our active front end, the DC link will be boosted to 680 volts. So if we start it here, we will have 682 volts into this plug now. We can also produce 680 volts from this place. And then we will use the over voltage and under voltage controller in the DC to DC converter to make a narrow window for the DC voltage to match the active front end. Load sharing is done with load drooping. We are doing a load drooping of about 3%. After downloading the application for the DC converter, we will have the parameter list with the default parameters. Um, to make it a little bit quicker, I will do a compare to my old parameters, which I know working for this application, and we will see what we have to change to make it work. The first parameter I change is the source nominal current that is source is the battery side and i have quite bigger current capacity here so i go the full maximum allowed for the this link here uh, the source nominal voltage that is the battery the nominal of this battery is 610 i have a pre-charge functionality on my first digital output so i need to set this to b1 that is the first digital output on the B slot. My under voltage reference, I use actually to control my DC bus voltage. Actually, the principle for controlling the uh, DC, common DC bus voltage from the DC converter is just to bounce it between the under voltage and the over voltage controller. Quite primitive. Under voltage drooping, I set to 3%. Over voltage reference, I put to 104. Which means that I'm going to bounce my DC voltage between 101 and 104 with a 3% drooping. The source minimum voltage, I will not allow it to go lower than 550. And the highest I will put to exactly this battery is 650. The first time I start this uh, DC converter, I want to start it in current reference mode. I will then go to the reference handling and I will tell it to go for zero ampere. So it will start very gently. But actually, right now I haven't connected the active front end to my DC bus. I just want to see that it's able to produce 680 volts on its DC bus. Let's start the drive. It went to 682 volts. The current is almost nothing. And 
Also, that is because we are not connected to a common DC bus system yet. So this is in free air. But we see that we have control of the common DC bus voltage. The current is pretty low. The voltage is 680. Now that we have an active front end connected to the city, we can actually transfer energy to the city. So let's try to give a current reference to the DC converter. Here we can see the amperes going right now. The current reference, we could put it to some, let's say 50%. And now we see 2.3 amperes about. So the energy is now flowing from the city through the active front and through the common DC bus to the battery. And we see that the DC converter actually have raised the DC voltage quite a bit to 635 to push this current into the battery. If we want to power the city, how do we do that? Well, then we go to the reference and put a minus. You could hear the difference. And here the voltage now dropped quite a bit, 583 volts. And put a minus. We are sourcing the current to the city. And now we can see that the city receive uh, 7.2 amperes on the 420 AC grid. I want to turn my current reference to zero and it immediately went almost to nothing. So this was the current reference mode way of running. We are now going to look into voltage reference mode running. The voltage reference mode means that we are aiming for keeping a specific voltage on the battery. If we try to force the voltage up, then the current will flow into the battery. If we try to force the voltage down, we'll go in opposite direction. We don't have that much control of the current. Of course, you can run it against some current limits, but basically we just aim for a certain source voltage. Now we want to change from current reference mode into voltage reference mode. We change it to voltage reference and then we go to the reference handling because here is the reference set. Now I want to aim for 90% of the source voltage, which will give some current going on in the system. There was immediate done current of about 6 amperes because we are now aiming for a voltage which is lower. Here we can see that 570 volt on the battery. Then this creates a current with a plus, which means that we are going from the battery to the city. We are going from the battery to the city. Okay, now the voltage have dropped quite a bit, so I want to change direction of the current. So if I aim for, let's say, 105 current, so if I aim for, let's say, 105, the current should go then in opposite direction. The minus on my fluke shows that I'm charging my battery. Voltage has increased the drive, try to increase the voltage here on the source side and the current is flowing in in this direction. So we are basically taking energy from the city and going into this direction and we do it now in a voltage reference mode. When you're running the voltage reference mode it could be a good idea to have current limits on uh, how maximum charge and discharge currents will be allowed. Because if you have a battery with quite low impedance, then the current could be quite abrupt big. 
Now that we are charging our battery in voltage reference mode, we will try to do something a little bit fun. And that is cutting off the common DC bus system while we are trying to achieve a higher voltage on the battery. We now have a current running into the battery for charging and all the energy of course comes from the city, from the active front end. So if I disconnect the common DC bus, the 680 volt on the DC bus is not more available and the current went down right now. And what happened here? Well, the current went down to zero because there is no energy source anymore. We also see that our source voltage, that is the battery voltage, went down quite a bit. The common DC bus system still have a voltage of 680 volts. That is the voltage here. So both of these DC bus systems now are producing 680 volt independently. One of the places where the DC converter come in handy is when utilizing it on diesel generators. Diesel generators with variable speed, synchronous generator, in this case a permanent magnet motor, and now we have replaced the active front end with a generator application, right now put into power take out mode. Now this generator application produces 680 volt DC and we are going to utilize this voltage and energy source to charge the battery. Here is my shaft generator. I'm not allowed to bring a Briggs & Stratton or a diesel engine to my office so I utilize an induction motor driven by this frequency converter. Then I have one frequency converter handling a synchronous machine. Here we have a permanent magnet motor that we use as a generator. We will now spin it up to speed by starting my diesel engine. And now I will start my generator application to produce 681 volts. So what this thing do now, it produce 680 volt on the DC link and I have connected the DC link to my DC converter. So we are producing 680 volts here. I want to charge my battery and I have set it into current reference mode and with a current reference of about 20%. Now on my ampere meter, I can see that I charge the battery with three and a half ampere from the diesel generator. If I stop my DC converter, the current is zero. We are now charging our battery with a diesel generator. In the next session of Drive School, we are going to look closer into the generator application. Thank you for watching.